Hey, what's up guys? So uh, today we're going to go over how to create and play an animation in Unity 5. And what we cover is how to create a simple attack animation and write some code to play animation, of course. And it's only like one line of code, really. So it's pretty easy. And um, what we need to do is, uh, of course, create a simple weapon, place the weapon appropriately, animate the weapon using Unity's animation window, or whatever you want to call it. Change the animation legacy, which on a side note, I believe is a little bit frowned upon at the stage Unity 5. So um, anybody that knows more than I do, please share information. Let me know what's up with that. Yay or nay. And add an animation component so that our animation will work uh, how we want it to. And then write attack animation. C start script. Never JavaScript slash Unity script. That's no. That's no. And then course playing test animation. Have some fun. It's fun. Okay, so go ahead and uh, real click, uh, quick. If you remember yesterday, I added a uh, capsule mesh filter and because for a reason, when we imported a first person shooter controller into Unity, it didn't come in with uh, anything attached to it. It's just invisible and uh, we're not playing invisible man. So I of course forgot to add a uh, mesh render. So now we have Mr. Pink from Reservoir Dogs and he's just chilling, ready to um, do some damage. So, uh, according to what we have here on our notes, uh, create a simple weapon. So, game object, uh, you know, a good way to do it is right click on this guy and uh, create three, uh, 3D object, a sphere, and just try to place it where you would generally have it. Um, you know, everybody's different, whatnot. But, uh, and go ahead and name that to sphere ball, not sphere back, sphere ball. And then. Uh, you know, that's that's okay. And then right click on it and create a uh, capsule. Um, move, move your capsule up a little bit. And uh, that's extraordinary. And so we'll just go ahead and make it a bit more realistic here. And uh, move that down. All right, there. And there you go. And let's see, place a weapon appropriately. We have done that. Now we need to animate this little dude. So to do that, we just go Command-6 on a Mac window, which opens our animation window up. Hit Record. Make sure you're on Sphere Ball to record. Otherwise, uh, all hell will break loose. Name it um, uh, Attack 01. Name it Attack 01. And you can see Unity created Attack 01 and Sphere Ball for us. So Attack 01 is the animation clip, and this is the animator component, Sphere Ball. And um, so move to where you think it goes about right there. Uh, this is create keyframe. So we need to move ahead in the timeline. And we're going to rotate it just a little bit. And probably about right. That looks pretty good. And uh, and then see you, you need created the keyframes for us so we can scrub through that. Now we need the animation to end. You know, let's actually put this a little bit closer. Uh, and we need the animation to, to loop, basically. So copy all the keyframes from the first set of keyframes, the one for this left. Command C and um, move forward in the timeline, Command V. And this will give us our whole looping animation. And just try it out real quick. Hit play. And it looks pretty good. You know, let's move it out for, further. Better effect. Hit play. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so that's it. Done. Hit finish and record. You have your attack animation, sphere ball. You have your animator, which you only brought in, and you not have you do not have your animation component. So go to miscellaneous animation, and we need to hook up the animation. Oh, there it is. We need to hook up hook up this animation attack 01. So you can do this two ways. You can click and drag and uh, attack 01, or you can just click on that and go up there. I prefer to do it that way. To each their own. For attack to work in this particular instance, we need to change this to the attack animation to legacy type, which I believe again uh, is not. It's kind of frowned upon now. I believe we kind of move forward uh, beyond that, but um, for this tutorial, this is how we're going to do it. Hit legacy by going up here from normal to debug, and then click back to normal. Now we need to uh, <coughs> go to animation, play automatically, untick that. Always animate needs to be based on renders. And let's see what happens. Command P to play the, the game. And uh, nothing's happening. It's not animating. But that's okay because we're going to fix that in a second. 
So where are we are on our notes, uh, add animation component, write the script. So we need to go and create a C sharp script, create C sharp script, um, attack animation, I guess. Double click on attack animation, never Unity scripts, never JavaScript. We don't need this for this uh, code. But we do need to make it available publicly because raycast4.cs is going to call a function from that script. And uh, we'll just call it attack, keep it simple. And we also want to make sure that it's working. So we'll just put in the console um, attack to see if it works. And also we, our one line of code is we need to get component. We need to get what component? the animation component where is it at click component and this animation <clears throat> and this is a uh, function so you need to I'll hit throw in the parentheses and in play and play is also a function so you need to throw in the parentheses for that and if I did everything well uh, it should update without any errors and it looks like it has so um, now we need to call attack from our Raycast forward. If you remember from our previous videos, we need to make an instance of our attack animation. So uh, attack animation, that's a script we just wrote. And then the one, our instance of it is attack animation with an underscore in front. So now what we do is copy paste that over. When we go, if input getting button down fire. So if we push the mouse, mouse button, we're going to go attack animation, attack. And this is going to get all cleaned up later. And so if everything worked correct, it should play the animation when I hit the mouse button. Let's see what happens. Nope. No reference. I always get these. I always forget to hook up the script. So what this is saying is your, Ray, your Raycast script does not know what script you're talking about. It's, you're talking about the attack animation script, but we have not hooked it up in the inspector panel. We also haven't put the attack animation script onto Spheball. So now we have our attack animation script on the sphere ball. Go back to our Raycast script and hook that up so they're best friends and they can talk to each other forever. Let's see what happens. And there you go. And we also see attack works. In the, uh, for, we know it works obviously because it's animating, but also because we see it in the console. So attack, attack, attack. And then it's all done. Very easy. Very quick. It didn't take 45 minutes just to explain it and uh, that's it guys so if you like the video please do rate review and subscribe and uh, smash the thumbs up button if you like it and want more or smash the thumbs down button if you hate it but if you hate it at least say some constructor like don't just say yeah you sucks say you know what you could improve on this or that or that or whatever but um, like if you're gonna leave negative feedback with something saying something totally ignorant and dumb oh that's on you and um, hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for the next video, and we'll catch you next time.